Hello and welcome to The Mirror Report, a weekly gaming news show that brings you all the news from games over the last seven days and does it with truth and absolutely no guff. If you're looking for guff, I would recommend IGN.com, also known as Igan. This week... Wait, what does that say? You have got to be chuffing kidding me. Are you serious? You want me to report on this? Are you kidding me? On a serious news show, you think this is what we should be giving back to the masses. Also, what the hell is wrong with people? Why are these even words written down? The, the world's gone crazy. The world's gone chuffing crazy and I blame you and I blame all of them. They're idiots. Somehow, this week's top story is that Nintendo revealed that Toad's weird head hat thing is in fact his head and he's not wearing a hat. Who in the hell asked this question to begin with? I don't know, but here we are once again and all of the f***ing games community looks like f***ing idiots. Why the f*** do we care that some mushroom that became a humanoid is now not wearing a hat and it is in fact his head? How the f*** is this even news and what the f*** is next? Maybe we're going to question, hmm, is Princess Peach actually a f***ing piece of fruit? Get your f***ing head out, your f***ing asses, people. I mean, what the hell is going on? It was this keep you up at night, like vermin running around your soul. You know, I refuse to comment on this any further. So instead, there's a puppet version of me with the whole thing. Thanks, real me. But yes, this week, Super Mario Odyssey producer Yoshihaki Kazuma did address the long-standing debate about whether Toad is wearing a hat or if it's just his chuffing head. Refusing to give any more details, the game designer simply said that it was his head and that I'm going to leave it all to you to figure out how exactly that works out, proving once again that Nintendo has no idea what it's doing and makes things up on the fly. Hence why Labo is just a sheet of card. It got worse when Kazuma also brought up the fact that Mario didn't have a belly button in release Super Mario Odyssey media materials but refused to tell us why. Again, the fact we're here to begin with is a travesty, but this is what gamers everywhere decided to do with their time. At least it's better than playing Dota 2. Back to the studio. I hate it. I hate it. It gets worse every week. Mushrooms. Rumours were also abound this week that the newest Metroid game, which Nintendo did announce last year, is in fact being developed by Namco Bandai, who are also making a new Ridge Racer game that will be exclusive for Nintendo Switch. Given that today nobody cares about Metroid or Ridge Racer, it's going to be interesting to see how things pan out. There was also a huge leak this week thanks to Trusted Reviews who did drop a bunch of information about Red Dead Redemption, a game that is hoping to come out on the 23rd of October 2018. Letting us know about many online modes including one called Battle Royale. It also stated the main hero will be Arthur Morgan as well as leader of the Dutch gang Dutch Vanderlind. Click the link in the description to read more of these details. We here at the Miller Report obviously then did reach out to Take Two, the owner of Rockstar, and we received this video statement in return. We here at Take Two would like to just go on the record about this leaks for this game called Red Dead Redemption 2, all right? These fucking leaks, we don't endorse them in any way, shape or form. And to be honest, I've never even heard of Red Dead Redemption 2, this, this game, all right? Any materials, that you've seen, whether it's written or otherwise, you know, trailers or, or screenshots about a game called Red Dead Redemption 2, um, they're absolute garbage, all right? And, and everyone here shoots them down with, with hate and fury and, uh, and just fire and brimstone, all right? We have absolutely no plans to release Red Dead Redemption 2 and nor will we. In fact, from this day forth, if anyone even says the words Red Dead Redemption 2, Kill him. Shut the f up. And don't go bitching in the comments about, oh, it's Red Dead 3, it's Red Dead. It's Red Dead 2, alright? Shut the f up. I like that guy. Straight to the point, direct, good for him. Sad news this week as mumblings appeared hinting that Sumo Digital is in fact thinking about releasing a new Sonic and Sega All Stars racing game despite the first one being absolutely terrible. Of course, if they were to do this, it's more than likely just to silence nerds on the internet. Because of course if they do make this, they will buy themselves a couple of weeks before these idiots return to Twitter to moan about the fact Sonic isn't the right shade of blue. Then they'll implode when they see Captain America's new shield. If you're not familiar with the Sonic franchise, here are the best games in the series to date. Alright, move on! Nothing to see here! Please disperse! Nothing to 
Our final piece this week comes in the form of whether or not games are art. With the re-release of Shadow of the Colossus on PS4, gamers and critics the world over have continued to splurge their pants all the while trying to justify why a game where you go around and just stab monsters in the head should be known as beautiful. The condition, known as shut up you self-absorbed prick, has been dominating the industry for years and always rears its head when something like Shadow of the Colossus is released or a minimalist indie title. The game in question doesn't even have to be particularly well made. The main character is a silhouette and sad music plays in the background. Shut up you self-absorbed prick will usually rear its head. How do you think Braid did so well? We allowed senior reporter Gerald Winesworth to play all of these games in one go and he sent us this special report. Hello, my name is Gerald Winesworth. When we call to see the After playing all these games these last few weeks, I can tell you this. Games are not art. Game games <clears throat> are game games games and art is art. This is why games are called games. And art is called art. I don't don't know why 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 we commissioned this report. I lie awake at night. I cannot sleep. Back to the studio. And that's that! News also came out this week that Activision was thinking about bringing back Crash Bandicoot, but I like to treat Crash Bandicoot how I treat needy children. If you just ignore them, hopefully they'll just eventually go away. Thank you for watching, and remember, if you play games in any fashion, you are indeed a massive nerd. I'll see you next week. All of these videos are made possible thanks to patreon.com forward slash Simon316, so please click the link in the description or on the screen to pledge what you can. You can also buy this t-shirt again. Link in the description, like, share and subscribe, leave a comment. I'll see you next week.